2020. It's our moment to transform and transcend. The simulation, it's buzzing. The world, it's buzzing. We started off with a pandemic that led to unemployment. And now, today, we're, we're dealing with issues of police brutality. You know, these are just examples, details of where life is, is shifting our reality, of how life is forcing us to see a new perspective. You know, a very good indicator of your state of consciousness is how you are dealing with your challenges. You know, those who are already unconscious will only be more deeply unconscious in challenges. And those who are conscious will be more inten more intensely conscious, right? A quote from Eckhart Tolle, but this is true. It rings true to me right now in this moment. You know, many times I could feel the pain, the pain of this world anytime. Whenever I step onto social media, I, I log on, I could feel the pain and what I noticed within myself is how life brought me back to the same challenge I felt years ago, right? This challenge of trying to understand what it meant to be an African-American living in America. It was a challenge for me. And I asked myself, how do I want to do this? What do I want to do? How can I see a different perspective? Because there is absolutely no way that I was going back to that same state of consciousness that I did years ago in 2015. Because in that moment, at that time, I was not at the state of consciousness that I am right now. At that time, as I reflect I remember being pulled in to the collective thought energy, being pulled in and feeling the pain, feeling the anger, feeling the confusion and not knowing what to do with that energy. And in this moment, I told myself, I'm not doing that this time. I'm going to learn how to transform my suffering into peace, into consciousness, into my awakening. It is your moment to transform and transcend. You know, this is the moment that you can use to confront your judgments, confront your attachments, confront your outdated beliefs, principles, and values. This is the time, and, and let me tell you, transformation it's not easy. <laughs> it's it's painful. Um, it, it's it's tough. <laughs> it doesn't feel good, but that is you breaking away from the egoic mind. The ego it doesn't want you to to align closer to your natural state of being. It wants to pull you in. It wants you to continue to identify with a certain belief identify with with old thought patterns it wants you to continue to hold your old attachments because that's how the ego holds its sense of self right we'll see that throughout this pandemic from the beginning as this world as it's it's, it's shaking there was this separation right separation amongst us starting me against you, you against them. That was the energy that I felt. That's the energy that I'm definitely feeling right now. And here's the thing, right? We know ultimately that we are all one. Therefore, when you feel that sense of separation, it's important for you to step back and recognize how less power we have with this idea of separation how more fragile we are, how we're taken to a place where our, our mind and our thoughts are distorted. We're not seeing reality clearly. We're seeing it through a lens of judgment, 
through a lens of pain, through a lens of, of suffering. So instead of projecting, go within. When in doubt, go within. I found for myself that during this time, I felt that my purpose was made clear and I knew how to direct my energy. And many times when you go into something and you don't feel like you have a purpose, you don't know what your purpose is, you know, sometimes you begin to project. You don't know what to do. You follow the collective thought energy. And I would like to remind you of what a pendulum is. And this is from reality transurfing, right? A pendulum, it's this independent entity, this thought structure, and it's based on the thoughts of a large group of people. So like I said, whenever you're in groups of people um, and you feel like you're thinking a certain way, your thinking is beginning to match that group of people, that is just those thoughts flowing into your mental field, right? And many times we begin to attach onto those thoughts, thinking those thoughts are our own, you know? And especially during challenging times like this, when it's global, when it's national, you'll feel yourself agreeing with certain people, disagreeing with others, your opinions changing, you're projecting your frustrations and your angers the same way as everyone else. But here's how you can break away from the pendulum, break away from that collective thought, energy, and go within. Awareness. Simply being aware of the fact that you are getting pulled in to that collective thought energy. That happened to me, and I had to stop myself for a second. And I had to say, these thoughts aren't my own. This is the this is the, the collective energy. This is not me. I have another purpose for this time of my life. You know, we all have a different script for our lives. It was all pre-made specifically for our time here in this lifetime. My script is not like your script and your script is not like mine. During this moment, I am learning something specific to my purpose and you are learning something specific to your purpose. So it's important to sit back, observe and be still. I've been reminding myself of three words, silence, stillness and spaciousness. That's what I needed during this time because the collective energy it can be so overwhelming that all I know how to do is be still. I had to find peace within. And ultimately, to be honest, that's how we shift our own outer world. That's how we begin to shift our perspective to a more joyful one, a more peaceful one. You have to open your mind to understand that there is a possibility of having a more peaceful perspective during these moments of suffering, of challenges. It's there and it's up to you to give yourself space, give it room for that perspective to come to you, right? It's 2020, we're halfway through it's your moment to transform and to transcend. For me, I, I have to hop off social media for a second. I do get very good perspectives on social media, but I have to hop off for a second. Let me find my perspective. Let me find my values. I go into nature. I, I have plants. It takes away any sort of idea of my mind being in the past and being in the future. I'm here, I'm, I'm right here, I'm present. And in presence, my higher self speaks to me, presence speaks through me. In this video right now, presence is speaking through me. I'm letting you all know that there's many perspectives for this point in time. Many people have different perspectives 
this is what I'm sharing you. It's this one perspective that I'm sharing with you. And it's one perspective that has helped me in this moment to remain still and not to be pulled in a direction where I don't want to go. I'm finding myself going beyond this separation, going beyond the details of what's happening in the matrix and the simulation and this dream experience. However you choose to refer to this world. Yesterday, I got a gentle reminder. Remember where you are. Many times when we find ourselves very attached to our challenges, meaning finding a sense of identity through that challenge, through the conflict, through what's happening, it's a little bit foggy. It's, we are unable to clearly see, to clearly see reality. So it's important for you to be able to confront that, be able to confront the the judgment to confront the attachment to confront the outdated belief and and you'll feel that within you you're gonna feel a block within you right the more that you are, are more aware you're more focused on perception than the mind because the mind it likes to create conclusions beforehand you know it's a form of trying to protect us so it's important to get used to that feeling between the mind and your feelings because your feelings are going to help you direct your energy. Your feelings are going to help you make the best decision for the next step in your script so you can continue to move forward. It's inevitable for all of us to awaken. It might be in this life, it might be another, but it doesn't matter. It's inevitable for all of us to awaken. So within your life, when you begin to feel more, rather than following the mind, rather than following that conditioned mind, that egoic mind pattern, when you feel more, you're more in tune with your natural state of being. And in this moment, as I speak, my goal for you is to discover peace within you, to separate yourself, to confront your challenges, not run away, but confront them, and transform your suffering into your peace. Be sure that you know that your suffering is a catalyst for your awakening. Mine, in this moment in time, it was for me. It gave me a clear idea of what it is I have to do next. What I have to do next is not the same for you. So I encourage you to play, put out that intention. Ask yourself, what is your next step? What is your purpose? It doesn't have to be big. It could be something small. Something, you know, many times we think in our life, I need to be this, this, I need to be that. That's not what you need to be. Just sit back. Observe, be still, allow presence to speak through you, and be open to feeling for what your next step is. Put back any sort of predetermined ideas and it'll come to you because you're open and you're ready for it. When in doubt, go within. My name is Morsi. If you enjoyed this video, check out the two on the screen. Until next time, peace.